Hey everyone, I'm Harley and it's really nice to see you on our channel, welcome back. First of all, please subscribe and thumbs up and let us begin this video. In this video, we are going to reveal an amazing plugin 3CX, so if you are ready, let's start. So first of all, let's visit their website and start the revision of this plugin. As you can see, 3CX Startup is an all-in-one business communication tool and software that also offers live chat, voice and video call options in the live chat. It is extremely easy to sign up and begin with and it will help you to enhance the user experience, especially in terms of support and in terms of general business communication, it will help you to manage your online workforce more efficiently. And now let's go to step-by-step -step instruction on how to get started and how to install live chat on your website. Basically, first of all, we visit 3CX and go all the way down. Then we click on sign up, for example, sign up with Google, let's say. And choosing an account. Afterward, we fill out all our details such as name, company name, country, phone number, etc all the personal information required and we click on next. In the next tab we have two options, 3CX self-managed and 3CX hosted. Of course we are going to choose 3CX hosted and we can click to next. And here we have up to 10 users for the startup option. Also we can add the users right away from here but I'm just clicking on add a new user but I'm just going to move on to the next step. We can connect SAP trunk, but I'm not going to do that now, so let's click on no and move on to the next step. And here we have <coughs> connecting through live chat. Uh, would you like live chat for your website? Do you have a WordPress website? Answer all these questions, then enter your website URL, which is I'm going to do right now. Let's edit the URL, Tiddle. it is correct. Also, the link we just got, we copy and paste it on our WordPress plugin that we installed. I will show you the installation process a bit later. We can also choose on which pages the live chat is going to be displayed and just click on save changes. Now let's go back through 3CX. Here we have our username and our password, which we need, which are basically the credentials we need from logging into web client. And here is the page of logging in. Here we just did it and here is our um, dashboard let's go to office settings then live chat and we can click on add a new live chat but we already have one let's say because we just added our link to website and connected it so let's click on it and edit it a bit as you can see we can first of all uh, edit the website url then we can choose what information we are requiring for the users in order to start texting us and do you want to allow chatting or calls from this options chat only phone and chat video phone and chat choose whichever one you like and of course uh, style options and color customization in the preview button you can see how the chat chat is looking basically this is a visual editor which is pretty amazing so we can start like sample texting from here and see how users will receive our text. This is just how it's going to look. Let's go back to our WordPress and the plugin installation process. It is extremely easy. You just go to plugins, then you click on add new and on the search line type 3CX. Afterward, you just click on 3CX free live chat install and activate. Now let's go back to our uh, pages and let's enable the live chat we created on all pages. Now we are going to visit a random page, for example this untitled one, and here you can see the live chat button, click on it and we can text something in it and visit the web client. As you can see when we do that and when we visit the web client, we can see the notification we just got from the user from the front end, we click on it and we answer it and here is how chat looks from the inside when you answer it the user sees it in this way and now let's just check the voicemail functionality uh, we have to click on the talk link 
which will redirect us over here then basically the users have to fill out their name and their email and click to chat afterward they can click on the voice call or video call and uh, basically allowed on the browser for example this is the voice call and here is the video call and here we can reply to the call basically and continue chatting with our clients so guys that was it if you like this video do not forget to share it with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in this topic also check out the description down below where you can find guide to the article on how to install the live chat and of course the link to the plugin see you in the next video